doing right now is filling up this cavity with oil and the reason I'm doing this is just gonna be easier to prime it it's not gonna be that hard because it's hard to get all that oil out here so doing a little bit not too much but just enough yeah we're gonna install the new cooler tight spaces just like that and nice and smooth. Basically, you know, like I'm not trying to basically teach you guys how to do an oil cooler on your own because you know it takes a lot to do one of these jobs. But you know, at least you guys have some kind of knowledge, especially on the E series, is the toughest because you know it's tight. But other than that, it's very straightforward and this is basically the heart of the engine because if you don't cool the oil properly it's running always hotter and then you know you're gonna have lifter issues lifter issues they gonna the bearings gonna crack and i seen it not once very many times the lifter just give up and grenade the whole thing and then destroy the cam and then you know it's a pretty expensive uh, repair take there and we are ready to put the bolts all in there but we have to put first the pull and pick connect on otherwise we're never gonna get it on just like that my friends Stop. okay We are on the right track. Yes, we are. working out good if you if any of you guys wants to try this gotta make sure that the valve cover gaskets are in the right direction otherwise you're gonna have a problem you're not gonna be able to seal and it's gonna leak and that's gonna be really really bad because then you have to go back and and do everything and start all over again because there is a knob that actually locates the intake to the valve cover gasket and I show you guys what I mean by that. If you have mechanical skills, it's no big deal, I guarantee you that, but you know, if you've never done anything like that then yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, let's go inside. knob right there right there okay so we gotta make sure that the 
right one it's on the right and the left one is on the left and this knob it's actually coming right in between these two on both sides otherwise this will cause you headaches okay and now i'm gonna install the turbo pedestal uh, look at what a beautiful thing this is make it beautiful painted my friend yeah and then you guys gonna see just enough to slide it and you cannot make a mistake because if you don't go on order you will never be able to put this guy back on just a friendly reminder so now let's put the bolts down to this bad boy and go to the next step sure that all those threads are all blown out because otherwise what happens it hydrolocks and then you won't be able to tighten it with fingers or time but it's not right so it's another important key that you have to keep in mind well, you just bring in that's how Ford likes to do things. They like to do things tight. I'm sure they never had to take this apart themselves, but because when they assembled this thing, it was done with the cab off. So afterwards, they don't care. You'll never be able to take the cab off on a T-series van, so. So, that turbo it's in. Uh, we need to put the feed line on and some other little stuff. So now you guys see what I have to put up with. Look at that. You can't see nothing. All you can do, it's feel. But she's there. You see what I mean? I'm locating the holes back and forth, but you see how tight this is, right? Okay, so now just, uh, you know, Fastening it down and the up pipes. How are you guys doing? I hope you enjoy this little video as much as I do. I dropped it. I dropped it. Tough. Tough. Girl.